Yo what up guys, this is Mosen here. Since people have been asking a lot how to finance their adventures in Vanilla WoW, be it for your mounts or raiding consumables, and since getting gold in Vanilla WoW can be really hard, these are my personal tips on how to get it. So here it is, I hope it's helpful, roll the intro and I hope you enjoy. What's up guys, uh, Mosen here with the gold farm tips number 2. And today we're taking a look at the beautiful winter spring. Uh, it is more of a level 60 uh, grinding uh, spot, but I thought this is like an obvious one, for me at least, or um, at least this is one that I have always very much enjoyed. Um, I've never been like very much of a, you know, herb grinder or miner. Uh, while I also did that, and that's of course really good money, so if you want like the you know, if you're kind of like the grinding dude, then uh, go and herb, herb it up and, and mine it up. But uh, this is like one of the spots where um, you can get together with friends and that makes it so cool too. Right, you can get together with friends and grind those fur bulks out. And uh, you're gonna get a lot of stuff out of it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Now first let me clarify what we're actually going to do. We are looking at the fur bulks at the um, uh, of the f Winterfall fur bulks in uh, Winter Spring. It's the north eastern Winter Spring, and it's very much uh, close to the Everlook flight point. So you can just go up there and um, right over to the to the Winterfall hold and grind it out. Now, what makes the spot so good? Well, first of all, um, you can get you know echoes, Winterfall echoes. And um, you can get echoes from a lot of creatures in Winterfall, from the giants in the in the um, uh, abyss down there in the south, where you um, get the attack power jujus from, um, from the bears that I think give you fire resistance jujus. There's a lot of jujus. Um, there's also uh, haste jujus. You know they give you I think three percent haste for a couple of seconds, which is also a really really good thing. Um, but we're taking a look at the Winterfall uh, ones, and the cool thing about Echoes is um, if you kill a mob and there's an Echo inside, you can be 20 people and you can all loot that one Echo. So that makes it so that you can farm gold and grind something and in a group with friends. And that's what really makes this cool. Because I always enjoyed, hey, you want to go and um, farm some Echoes together, and you could hop on Discord and talk a little bit. And, um, you know, with 2-3 you can start and then you go up to 4-5. If Horde is bothering you, you, you grind them out, there's some PvP here sometimes. Uh, you, can, you can handle it however you like, but it's a good group activity. And it's actually very solid gold, if you are that type of person that doesn't really uh, like to go solo farm. Now, what do we have to do to get this started? First thing that you will need is the cache of Mauari. And that is an item that will make you be able to loot the echoes throughout um, Winter Spring. Now to get this uh, cache of Mauari, you need to do the quest Luck Be With You before you start grinding it up. And um, you get the quest from Witch Doctor Mauari, and she's just located in uh, Everlook, you can find it pretty easily. And she will want you to have uh, gather four frost small shards from you and those are the frost small giants that drop the frost small echo which you then turn into frost small um, jujus that give you attack power you can also farm those by the way also really good but you need more people for it um so you go to the south and you collect uh, those uh, frost small shards it's either four or ten maybe it's ten maybe this is not updated and then you turn it in, she grants you the cash and you keep that in your bag. It's also one of the things you shouldn't remove from your bags, which I made um, making a video about. Um, and then you go and then you set. So that's like the basics, yeah, right? You do that one quest and you can grind echoes for days. We're talking about the uh, winter spring purbolks in the um, you know east of Everlook. And uh, let's take a look at their loot table before. Let's take a look at the at the booty, right? At the at the boons uh, you can get from them before. Now, at first glance, you would say, well, you know, this doesn't really look too promising. 3% drop rate, right? And the echo is 2%. What the hell is this? Now, I know this looks weird, right? But trust me, this spot is awesome. If you are one or two, if, if you're single, you know, you can do this alone. If you're 
with a buddy, if you're with two, three, four, five, ten people, you dominate the place, you're grinding, you're basically killing everything there the whole time. You're riding in a circle, keeping everything dead, and you keep looting and looting and looting. And while these Echo's drop rate seems to be small, with 2% coming in, let me tell you that it it shouldn't be 2%. Maybe it is 2%, but you know it feels like way, way higher. It feels like 20%. No, let's say it feels like 10%. But, since you're killing so many of them and everybody can loot them all the time, it really doesn't matter. And there's also other stuff you can get from them. Now, um, let's take a look at the loot table one by one. So first, rune cloth. Rune cloth always sells, you can make your bandages from it. And if you're very uncreative, you make bandages from it and sell those bandages to the vendor. If you really don't need them. But rune cloth always sells on the auction house and you can always make your bandages for the raid. Now, um, the Spirit Beads of Request, um, and the second one that drops is the Empty Fire Water Flask, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, then you have some bananas, those don't really count, but you can, you know, it's, it's food. I don't know, maybe you have like a, a, a pet that can use them. But now we get into the big shit, the Winterfall Fire Water. So, if you're a melee class and you like to min-max it out and you uh, like to raid, you can farm here and get those waters and you're set for the raid, okay? You don't need to spend money because you know, those actually cost a little bit. Or, if you, you know, I always sold those things because I felt like, okay, 35 attack power is nice, right? For 20 minutes though, it's not like the longest time. And 35 isn't, the, you know, the most. It's cool that it increases in size. So this is like a thing that really sells well. And I think like taking the gold from this is much wor more worth than getting the 35 attack power. It depends. If you're planning to do a speed run with your guild, of course, you know, take five to the side and uh, pop them there. But those sell for like two to three gold on, on servers, right? So if you get a stack of 10 of those, it's 30 gold, easy money. Uh, so I would recommend selling them, but do whatever the hell you want. If you need them for the raid anyway, you know, use them. Then there's a totem dropping and this totem starts a quest, you can do that as well. Uh, you get some major mana uh, and major healing potions and those obviously are really good for raiding so you get those along the way and um, you get some waters right so you don't need to worry about buying food and water so this is like an all-round grinding spot here right this is an all-round uh, grinding spot that gives you basically everything and then we have the echoes and um, usually I can only tell you only tell you you know how it feels like but like after grinding an hour here you have like you should have at least 20 to 30 echoes, which you can turn into the same amount of jujus, right? And, um, or you can even sell them. And this is a lot. And you usually have like a stack of fire water after an hour. So this is easy, very easy money you can get here. Like a couple of, probably, probably around like 50, 60, 70, you know, gold per hour. Now, if you stop exactly after an hour and see what's going on, this might be different because you might, you know, you might need to grind it an extra 10 minutes and you'll get very lucky and have way more echoes, right? I usually farmed you for like two hours or something or three hours and then I was basically done for the whole week, at least. Now, the other cool thing is that you get some uh, scrolls. You can always use scrolls, right, um, for whatever raids or, or something or when you're doing something solo and you want to spam uh, scrolls. You can also sell them, you know, don't get me wrong. And now the cool other cool thing about those echoes is also... You can sell it, right? You can sell it up. Uh, they go for up to, I'm saying up to, same for the winter fall fire water. They go for up to three gold f uh, 50 to four gold on some servers. Not on every server. I know that maybe on your server, you know, Chad, they go for one gold and you're special. That might be. Then, you know, use them, I guess. Uh, but they can go up to three gold and it also depends on how far the server has progressed. Um, you know, if there's actually an active PvE scene. Uh, the Winterfall f uh, Echoes, uh, you can also sell them. They go for up to one gold. And so a stack of 20 is 20 gold. Um, they can also go for 50 silver, I know that, right? But they can also go for one gold. So that is pretty solid. On top of that, they drop a lot of grey shit, right? So make sure to to empty out your bags. Um, the, you know, just just the greys and the grey weapons and everything, just keep in mind, you know, a war staff or like a, a grey two-hand sword, they sell for golds, right? Now, the other cool thing is that there is an extra mob, and it's uh, called High Chief Winterfall. 
Now High Chief Winterfall, if you check, Classic DB has a 5 minute, uh, around a 5 minute plus some seconds spawn timer. And he always spawns in the top cave of the hold. Now usually what you want to do is you want to go in circles and keep that guy on farm, right? So the perfect group size is like 5 and you go in circles, you don't have to wait at the top of the cave too long. And you go through the whole uh, hold and kill everything. Then you come back to his spot, he will spawn. And the cool thing about it is he has an 87% drop rate of Winterfall Firewater. So keeping him on cooldown if you can, if you're dominating the place, then uh, you have a guaranteed Winterfall Firewater. And you can, I don't know, maybe donate that one to your um, melee that really wants them. Or you can be a greedy bitch and just uh, keep it. He also drops a crudely written lock, which starts a quest. That's some good gold income on top. Sometimes he drops uh, lock boxes, traveler's backpacks and all the good stuff. But nothing too special, but it's really worth um, keeping him on cooldown because he can uh, drop the echo and has basically a guaranteed fire water. Careful though, he is elite and he hits really hard, so... Soloing this one, you need to be careful. Don't die here seven times or you might lose uh, the spawn timer. Another really cool thing is that you get um, the reputation for Timbermore Hall here from killing all of these mobs. So if you're planning on, you know, you're an enchanter and you need some recipe there, uh, you get the um, rep for Timbermore Hall there as well, which is you know, a little neat extra. And um, if you're a miner or a herbalist, um, keep your uh, tracking on because uh, all around this area, there's rich thorium veins and um, I believe it was um, Mountain Silver Sage uh, to be found in the area. Now, if you really want to grind it out, uh, these mobs drop a empty fire water flask, which then starts a quest and sends you through fire, uh, Fellwood and uh, Winterspring. And in the end, you have to actually kill High Chief Winterfall. And this will result in you getting some uh, green items. So if you have a fresh 60, you might want to check out these items. You get some reputation and you get some silver and gold. There's also a quest given by Donova Snowden, which is at the entrance of Winter Spring. If you're coming from uh, Fellwood, that will have you um, kill a couple of Pathfinders, Den Watchers, and Totemix, and uh, you can combine that quest with Winterfall activity given by the Furbolg that's uh, at the entrance of uh, Winter Winter Spring. And those uh, will also give you a couple of cool items. Now note that um, the uh, Winterfall activity actually rewards some pretty strong items, including some uh, 22 damage and healing cloth gloves and a chest plate with 10 defense and 17 agility, so that's something to look out for, as well as uh, 20 agility chest and strength and agility leather gloves. So you can combine those quests while you're farming there anyway, if you're fresh 60. Once you're done farming there and um, you have a lot of echoes, you basically, all you do is you go back to Everlook, you go back to that troll lady and uh, you hand in uh, the echoes for um, the desired juju. Now be careful if you're farming here with an alt, send the echoes over to your main. The jujus are going to be soulbound. So if you, you know, like I once did with a 20 stack, I turned in the strength jujus with the hunter I made and I wanted to send them over because I just was brain AFK, AFK to send them over to my warrior. You know, I had uh, a lot of strength jujus on my hunter then, which I gave to my pet and people laughed at me and th thought I was like the, the big poop sock and try hard. But, you know, um, so take the echoes and send the echoes to the character you want the jujus on because otherwise they're going to be soul bound. So let's have a quick recap here for this spot. Now this is a great questing spot. A you get Timbermore rep, right? That's a little neat extra. These mobs are really easy to kill if you're 60. You can group up with friends, you can ride in a circle and grind it out. They drop a lot of grace, they drop a lot of food and drink, they love, drop a lot of potions, they drop Winterfall Firewater, which is a consumable that you can either use or sell. They drop the Winterfall Echoes, which you can use or sell. It's really easy. They drop some uh, scrolls. The mobs die quickly, right? There's rich thorium veins and herbs all around you. And there is a chief that you can keep on cooldown that will uh, always give you a firewater. And uh, this is just a really good solid spot that you can grind out with your friends and uh, you can enjoy and doing this for one or two hours is going to have you set for the whole week and I'm, I mean this. I've been doing this constantly. It's one of my favorite spots and especially if you're um, you know melee you want to go here you can bring your healer friend along because he always gets uh, something out of, out of it as well. 
Also, Winter Spring is a very beautiful zone, so um, you know there's something there. And if you're in a big group and you like PvP, you can start and pick some fights here. You can be a little bit of a douchebag and uh, dominate the place and fight over the farming spot. Really cool thing. Uh, if you don't like PvP so much, just keep it on the low and uh, grind it out and don't start any fights. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, got something out of this guide and uh, this has been episode number two. Uh, I'm streaming a lot of Twitch, so I'd very much appreciate you stopping by there. Uh, have some fun in the chat. Uh, so, you know, if you like and enjoy the videos, uh, leave a subscribe um, on the YouTube channel. Here you hit the follow button. And if you are really bored, right, you hop over to the Twitch stream and um, say hello. You know, I'd appreciate you being there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.